Whew, okay, this I this is feels like a weird video to make, but it's a show I want to talk about it. So if you're under the age of 18 or 15, I don't know the exact age you shouldn't be watching this show. Get out of here. This isn't for you. Um, I'm talking about Cedric. Sex and oh, oh. I'm talking about Cedric. That was, that's a very weird intro, but anyway, Sex Education, the second season came out um, recently at the time of recording this. Um, yeah, I'm recording a lot of videos in advance, so this is probably coming out while I'm at uni. Um, and really, this, I, 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 uh, this, this show is just, it's, 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 it's something, but it's also a little bad. So I binged this show within two days slash nights. I was up till two or three in the morning across two days, two nights, um, watching season one and season two. Um, and I, I don't get how I couldn't put it away and how I couldn't just fall asleep because this the first season of the show is, it's all right. It's got some, you know, fun, you know, sexual humor and whatnot, but after a while, like, it's pretty stale. There's a formula where it introduces a sex problem. Otis um, tries to help, but in doing so, his personal life um, takes a hit um, but then he solves a sex problem by the end of it. There's the one-off episode where his personal life doesn't really get too much of a hit, but most of the point, most of the time, his personal life gets a hit while he's trying to help someone else and whatnot. You know, it's fine to have a formula, it's it's better to do it in a way where you don't notice it, where the audience doesn't notice it, but I easily noticed it. But that said, I said I binged this show because the characters are just so well done, it's so interesting. Otis is a character I really love, despite his flaws, I just can't help but root for the character. I want him to get together with Maeve, who yes, has some issues, but still you can see through that early on. It's never forcing and never dragging out the whole, oh, is she really that kind of girl, that kind of jazz. Eric's a fun character to see. His struggles are really nice. Adam is a really cool character. I just, all the characters are really nice. Emma, em, Amy, Amy, I think. She was a really good character in season two more so. I really love that journey she went on. Um, when the guy um, sexually harassed her on the um, bus and that led to a whole um, journey with her and then we got one of these episodes in season two where it's like all oh, the strong women empowerment and everything um, and normally I, I think those episodes are fine because a lot of them are really on the nose and but this one because of the journey I went through with Amy going up to this point I really enjoyed that episode it didn't feel too forced it didn't feel like it was trying to push too much of an agenda because I went on that journey and it felt like a natural place to go and that's what I really loved about that episode. But the one problem is it also, the humour gets a little, at least the sexual humour gets a little stale after a while. It's not a show you can really binge and I think that's also because of the formula it follows. The moment you notice the formula, the moment you start to pay attention to it, it gets a little irritating and a lot of the jokes don't land. The journeys that each of the characters are going on, that really makes me at least get in, involved with them and love them. There are a few problems I do have as well, like Eric, his journey is great, but in season one his dad's the main focus and he keeps on saying your mum wouldn't like to see you like this, your mum wouldn't like, yada 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 yada. But then in season two the dad's not really there and then mum is so happy and Odie knows that he's um, gay and that he's all this um, extravagant and whatnot. And then he said that he came out when he was like 12 or 13 or something. So just it just kind of doesn't really line up for me with what we saw in um, season one. The characters, just the writing of the characters, the acting most of important of all, the acting is just so good. I'd said there are also issues where certain characters just revert back to themselves. Like when there's like that trio of like really up themselves, we've run the school kind of people, but then the, the gay guy openly talks to Otis about having a problem with bum holes. One of them can't, um, has a gag reflex. The other one sleeps with nerds and all the, they all have their own problem. Their problem is solved and it's all good and dandy, but then in the end, like, I'm sure all these things would kind of like, kind of disrupt the reputation. But at the same time, the whole school, the whole year level is just so messed up and so sexual in its nature, in their nature, that I can understand why it wouldn't be like that. It's just, that is the more unrealistic aspect of it, unless that's what American schools are really like. I don't know. But overall, this show, season one and season two, gets an eight out of 10 from me. If it was just season one, the score would be lower, but season two really carries it, and the character's overall journey is so great. I'm so heartbroken, and I hate, I hate wheelchair kid. 
Isaac, I hate that kid. Like, I hated him before the season finale. I hated him all the time. And the moment he did that thing to Otis, oh, I really don't like that kid. I, want, I can't wait to see him get the, you know, get what he gets to get, oh man. Nonetheless, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below what you think about sex education, the show. And make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos. And until next time, I'll see you